okay in this short video tutorial we'll see why we are getting this uh, error message when we are trying to send emails or when we're trying to use the contact form to send a message uh, there was an error trying to send your message please try again now initially I thought this was a WordPress issue or maybe the contact form 7 plugin issue but it looks like it is not so um, let's try to uh, see how to resolve this if you have not yet uh, installed um, contact form 7 then you need to go to your plugins uh, link on your WordPress administration page and you can just search for contact form 7 and you should be able to find the plugin there you go now since I have already installed this um, it's not showing me the install now button here so it's already active so let me just go and show you the settings suppose you have just installed contact form 7 then you need to go to settings to set it up so there will be one contact form by default here you can simply edit that and use it if you want to give any name to the contact form then you can give it here this is the form uh, in which we are displaying your name your email address your subject your message and there's a send button so I don't want to change anything here so I'm just leaving it and you go to the second tab which is the mail configuration tab usually uh, it should have picked up your uh, site settings in general the email address associated with the website should already be picked up so I don't need to change anything here but if you want to change you can change it so that is all the change that I would need to make here and I'm gonna click save now the contact form is ready to use so after you configure your contact form 7 then this is the short code that needs to be uh, used to show the contact form you can show this on a page or widgets anywhere you want so you just need to copy this and I have actually implemented this on one of the pages here this is the this is where I've implemented as you can see if I go to edit then this is the place where I have uh, pasted the contact form uh, shortcut and just update it so now our contact form is ready to use so when we are sending a test message we are getting this error message so we need to resolve this one now I initially thought that this was a WordPress or a WordPress plugin that is contact form 7 issue but it is not it is actually a host issue uh, and this is not just an issue with WordPress but also with Drupal which I have also blocked it on my uh, blog here now on Drupal I am also facing a similar issue I'm not able to send emails using the contact forms and this is a host issue the similar error message we're getting here so my host when I wrote to my host they replied saying that we would like to update you that the mail function is disabled in the server because it is a vulnerable function and can be used by spammers to send unauthenticated emails using the PHP mail function means that you are sending emails without even logging in into your account so they asked me to implement some code changes but I will not be doing that because Drupal also has a, a module which handles this basically we need the emails to be sent using SMTP and not directly using the PHP mail function so this is also a similar issue with Drupal so it is not a Drupal or a WordPress issue but it is a host issue so in WordPress we'll see how to resolve this one so we need a plugin for this so luckily WordPress has a plugin for this one you will go to add new and search for WP that means WordPress mail SMTP and search for one now I have already installed this plugin that's why it's not showing me to install but I have disabled it that's why it's asking me to activate so I'll just activate the plugin 
and we are in the plugin page again where I will go to the settings for this plugin now this advanced email option should pick up the email address configured for your site from general settings and this is the name that you want to show when you receive a message from this uh, website now this is important mailer you should choose the first option send all wordpress emails via smtp so we are asking wordpress to use smtp instead of the php mail function uh, this is not what is required so enable this one and if you enable this one then we need to provide the smtp details here so you need to get your smtp host generally local host also works but if you need to find out the exact smtp uh, server details then you need to go to your um, host and then go to your email accounts now suppose these are your now these are the two email accounts that i have created for testing purposes and you need to click on uh, setup mail email client this is where they will show you the uh, configurations required to set up your email client so um, basically you need to get the outgoing server details but as i said even localhost works so you, you can just enter localhost so you need to grab the outgoing server address now smtp port to be used because it's using ssl or tsl settings it's asking you to use smtp port 465 otherwise 25 general smtp should work on 25 so um, get this two details and update it here now port 65 would imply that we're using some ss encryption basically ssl so i'm um, you'll have to choose use ssl encryption in that case but depends on your host now authentication this is also important uh, because on your host email account settings it's saying that authentication is required for imap pop tree and smtp that's why we need to use smtp authentication here so um, enter the username for the email account to be used and the password for the same so after that i'll just hit save changes and the good thing about this plugin is that it will even let us test uh, sending an email so i'm just going to test it um, um, i'll just send it to all my test email so i'm going to send it so this is the debugging output the result is boolean true which means that the mail was sent successfully otherwise if there is some configuration error then you should see boolean false here so we don't need to go to the details of this one email has been sent now we'll test the uh, contact form 7 now so even this contact form 7 uh, the configuration that we do here in the uh, wordpress mail smtv setup is for the entire site so we don't need to do anything on the contact form 7 configuration again i'm just gonna leave everything as this and i'm just gonna press send now this time we should be able to see that the mail has been sent now we will check on the host or our email client whether we have actually received the email from this contact form to this email address so i'm going to log into the webmail of uh, this email uh, if you are using cpanel then you can go to your cpanel admin or dashboard and then you can click on mail accounts then you can scroll down and click more access webmail and i have already opened that so i'm just going to go to webmail and i'm going to refresh my mail and bingo i have the email or the message from this contact form so that's it so if you're facing a similar problem where emails sent from your contact form are not actually getting sent you're getting an error message here instead of a successful message then you need to install 
uh, WordPress um, SMTP plugin because the PHP mail function is disabled by your host. So this is not a WordPress or uh, WordPress plugin issue, but it is your host that has disabled the PHP mail function because it is not secure. So instead of the uh, mail function, we are setting up WordPress to use SMTP uh, settings. According to my test just now, we have received the message from the website. So everything's good. I'm good to go. So that's it. Thank you.